Hey guys. Um, lately, every time I seem to do these sort of vlogs, I, I'm either crying or something's upset me. But yesterday was my wedding anniversary. Six years me and my wife have been married. I've known her for 15. Yesterday, one of my heroes died. If I say the name Joe Alasky, you guys don't even know who he is. But if I say Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd, Sylvester the Cat, Plucky Duck, Grandpa Lou Pickles from Rugrats. You know who they are. Shut up, cat. He was a voice actor. And a damn good one at that. Sorry, guys. I'm just... I've met a lot of voice actors because I go to a lot of conventions, Comic-Con... Dragon Con, stuff like that. So I meet a lot of voice actors, a lot of graphic novel artists, uh, a lot of actors, um, producers, movie directors, people like that. And I have a small audio portfolio of some of the characters I do. And occasionally... I will try and find contact information for for people out there and say, look, this is what I do. I guess I can do Cobra Commander, I can do Star Scream, I can do Megatron, I can do Oh God Um Claw from Inspector Gadget. I can do you know, a whole range of different characters. Scruffy from Futurama. Um, things like that. And The last London Comic Con I went to, I believe it was... 2003. Just before I left England. Before it was eventually called Comic Con. And there was a whole bunch of voice actors and Joe Alasky was there. So was someone else who I consider a hero. <laughs> I got a cat <laughs> molesting me. <laughs> and Joe Alasky, Christopher Lawrence, or, or Christopher Collins, as, as, as he liked to be called. Um, I never got to meet Christopher Collins personally. He died before I started doing voice acting. And I met a lot of his friends who, who have done voice acting. And they openly have said that I sound quite a lot like him and that they've had to do a double take and at one point he's family members have asked me to say phrases and things like that and they've started crying because I sound just like him portraying the character of course and to me, that's the highest honor you can ever get. And Joe's words to me was, don't be typecasted, don't be typical. When, when you're given direction, take it. When you're given criticism, listen to it. Listen to what they say and listen to what they don't say. But at the same time, he also told me that I have 
a talent and that I should stick with it and that I should never give up you're going to be missed buddy Joe Alaski was 63 years old My childhood literally died. So next time you see a classic Bugs Bunny cartoon, or a Tweety Pie, or a Sylvester, or whatever, or even if you go on a Rugrats little marathon and you see Grandpa Lou Pickles, now you know his name. It's Joe Alaski. I don't have a lot of heroes left. They say you should never meet your heroes. I say shut up, you've got the wrong heroes. Always, if you ever get a chance to meet your heroes, even just once, meet them and tell them why they are a hero to you. Chase your dreams, guys. Chase your dreams. I'll see you later.